Oh man, what a start to the night, but we'll get going. So hey, thanks for joining in for the transportation engineering section, the FE review, and we were having a couple audio issues earlier. I'll uh, try to get those cut out, but it, hopefully you can hear me well enough and we can go from here. So this, this is the transportation section where there's like a million formulas and like 500 variables, uh, but hopefully we get through a bunch of them. And actually, the FE review handbook does a good job of sorry pairing it down if you if you're looking at like the highway capacity manual that book is just loaded with formulas so we're gonna get into some of those uh, we're gonna hit some with the the geometric design we're gonna get hit some with uh, um, obviously uh, we have geometric design pavement systems I, I, I don't hit pavement systems too hard in this review um, traffic capacity and flow theory I do get into um, traffic control devices I get into a little bit with with timing as well so We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we can get through all of that and uh, make it work, and um, and then go from there. So uh, the cool thing is, having done this a time or two, I've learned a couple things uh, from some people that you know. At one point, I think I did a transportation section on this in a past semester, and I was like, the gravity model. That's just like really complicated. So you probably won't get any questions on the gravity model. Well, I had somebody come back and tell me after they took the test, they met, and the gravity model is on there. So. We are going to hit the gravity model uh, a little bit here at the end as well. So we'll jump in, and uh, as we get going here, we're going to go to uh, highway design, geometric design, and we'll get started. So a circular horizontal curve has an angle of 39 degrees between two tangents and a radius of 600 feet. What's the length of the curve? So basically what we have here is we're going to start with uh, you know two, two lines here, and let me draw that a little bit better but two lines that are 39 degrees apart okay so we got 39 degrees and this is kind of going to be like our our road going on here right so the question is we got one tangent coming in one tangent going out and this curve in, in between we know that the radius is going to be uh, 600 feet so this has a radius of 600 feet and we're just getting warmed up here so this shouldn't be too crazy but um, what we're looking for is the length of the curve. So anytime you get curve questions, the good news is the FE Reference Handbook has a lot of good equations on horizontal curves. So I, when I'm going to the transportation section in the handbook, I like to actually start in the environmental section and work my way back because it's the, the transportation section is close to the end of, um, of, the, uh, in, of the civil section. So what you see here is there's a section uh, specifically on horizontal curves, right? And this is where there is again there's the transportation. There's a ton of a ton of equations. So we have to know those equations. We have to be able to um, use those equations, figure out those equations, and 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 come up with something that works. So what we're told here is we want a length of a curve. So what we're going to do is we're going to look. Uh, we're going to see what we can find here and we see that L is the length of the curve and just I threw this one in there so that you can see L is different than LC right LC is going to be uh, the, the the chord length which is uh, which is different so we will use that equation here and uh, and keep going so sorry I'm still getting set up here that the, the little hiccup in the beginning uh, made it a little bit a little bit of a challenge but what we have what we see here is we're looking for an equation with L and a lot of times that's what you're going to be doing um, when you're getting into some of these horizontal curve questions is what equation works right what do I have what do I need to know and uh, what will work here so I know I have L and, and here's an equation for L right and, and the equation basically starts with R the radius um, the, the, the deflection angle and a conversion you know from degrees to radians so this one is is honestly about as easy as you could hope for and, and they probably won't be this easy but if they are uh that's okay you know we'll take the easy ones along with the hard ones but what we have here is a is a length of curve um equals r i right times pi over 180 degrees okay so we basically have um have what we what we need here and we're just going to plug in right so 600 feet uh, times I which is that deflection angle of 39 degrees and we're going to convert that essentially to radians by pi over uh, 180 right so the the degrees kind of go away and we get a length of curve L um, I think I'm going to put that one in there but hopefully I didn't screw that one up 
um, but 600 times 39 times pi over 180 is just going to be <laughs> you got to love the 130 pi in the TI-36X but you know how you, you know how you get the um there's right above the enter button there's that little arrow button that takes it out, out of pi and into actual feet so um, that's going to be uh, 408 feet and we're off to the races okay so so some of these questions are going to be easy some of them are going to be a little bit more uh, complicated right but when you get into curves you do have to know your terminology you have to know how to make each of these uh, work so um, so we'll, we'll just keep going so question two right a horizontal again we have a circular horizontal curve degree of curvature of 11 so degree of curvature is different than that deflection angle the degree of curvature uh, is basically how much you how much curve you have per hundred feet so the, the degree of curve is is how much curve you have uh, per hundred feet so in this case it's going to be 11 degrees uh, per hundred feet and uh, that's where we're going to start and you, you might say well how do you know that it's it kind of gets into this equation down here too so the id over 100 that's that where we go from um, I to D it's it's we get that 100 in there and that's that's what we're doing and even you can see it you can see it here right this D is that deflection or the um, degree of curve which is per hundred foot of, of uh, arc length okay so uh, where are we going with that what well first that was just what we're given so we know that we have a curve here right and you know let's draw in our, let's draw in our curve again right so we're gonna draw in some curve but we're not told we're not told the total angle we're just told this deflection angle of you know of what 11 degrees per 100 feet so we got a you know a tangent coming out here a tangent coming in here and we have this curve that kind of goes and the question's asking you know what's the deflection angle this total angle um, that makes up the curve right we do know that we have a horizontal line of sight from the PC to the PT so some more language here uh, but what we want to do is come back to our diagram and we see the PC is the point of curve so the start point the PT is where it goes back to tangent right so this is this is a tangent line that goes straight out and that's going to be uh, that's going to be the roadway that's no longer the curve so the, the PC is the beginning the PI is the point of intersection the intersection if you extended the two tangents all the way out so what we're given though is we're given the point of curve that the, the distance that you can see straight from the point of curve to the point of tangent and the last time I looked I didn't look around a curve um, I had to look straight right so the idea here is that's the that's the LC value and I didn't say that's LC I didn't say it's the um, the chord length you know and that's where it, it does help to also kind of understand here that you some of these some of these terms aren't going to be defined exactly the way they are in the, the handbook but you can still uh, make them work so uh, so let's see let's keep going here so um, let's keep going here so so let's come back to our equations but we, but actually before we come back to our equations um, what we have here is is LC equals 600 feet Okay, okay, that's the chord length. Um, we have this degree of curvature of 11 degrees. Okay, so what we're trying to find is this deflection angle, and that's that. That's what we're going to do. So let's come back to where we where we are here. That deflection angle is this I, right? So we're looking for something that relates I to D to LC, and uh, what we can see here is we do have kind of this equation that we have LC and I, but that doesn't give us D. but then um, what else do we have we have you know we have a couple things going on we do have a radius here that that um, will, will relate us so this becomes kind of a two-step curve problem so we have to find I right we have to find I but first before that we, we can do that let's first um, find the radius I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute but first we're gonna use that radius formula uh, is equal to so the radius equals um, 5729.58, right, divided by D. That's the formula, and this is a conversion. Uh, it's, it's, it's a conversion. Okay, so uh, we could go and derive it, but you don't need to. So let's just do this out. Divided by our 11 degrees is going to give us 
uh, 521 feet. Okay, and then let's go to uh, step two here. In step two, we're going to say um, we're going to use another equation. So now that we have R, um, we can come back and we can say now that we have R, uh, we're going to have LC um, two sine I over two. And one thing, just to let's let's take a look at this for a second. But um, we, I was just curious if this told us whether our 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 um, angles are in degrees or not, and it doesn't. But uh, that's typically what happens, and if we need radians, we'll we'll um, come back to radians. So let's come back here. But we do know that this formula here, um, now that we have R, we can and we have LC. Now we can solve for I. Okay. So let's come back here. We'll use that formula. So our second thing that we're going to do here is we're going to find uh, I. Okay. And the equation that we're going to use for that one was that second equation. We're going to say that R equals um, LC over 2 sine I over 2. And we know that this R is 521, so we'll plug in. We'll get 521 equals, you know, feet equals 600 feet uh, divided by 2 sine I over 2. So let's, let's do a little bit of math here. I, I can... I can cross out the 600, I end up with 300 on top. Um, I can cross multiply, right, and I get essentially sine of I over 2 equals, uh, let me write it right, 300 over 521. Okay, the feet drop out, and what I'm going to get there is, is if I take the inverse sine of both sides, um, I'm just going to write it over this side because I have some room here and my head's not in the way. All right, but what I'm going to get here is if I take the inverse sine of both sides, I I over 2 equal to 35.2 degrees, and I is going to equal twice that, or uh, 70, 70 degrees roughly. Okay, so that's going to get us there. But some of these curve problems, they get a little bit more. I, I can the PE, I remember I, I got to a, a more complicated curve problem. Oh, don't tell me. My computer's not liking me today. Okay, let's let's try just killing this stream and starting it over. I don't know. Um, okay, so if you go to, um, uh, I'll give you the uh, the link to my channel, and I will put a new one in the playlist here. So I'm gonna turn this one off and back on, and hope that life gets better. I apologize for the technical issues tonight, and uh, let's try it again.